Hello, we are the Snowmobile Trail Grooming Packer Pan Senior Design Group at NDSU. Our group consists of Tyler Blegan, Nathan Rowe, Hunter Winther, and John Zapoy. Our mentor for this project is Dr. Chad Alvin, and our sponsor is the Clay County Trailblazers. Snowmobiling is a huge pastime in the upper Midwest, but likewise to other recreational sports, it poses different dangers. Many of these dangers come in the form of unkept or uneven trails. To solve this issue, many snowmobile clubs take it upon themselves to ensure that snowmobilers have safely groomed trails to ride on. However, the equipment used for these groomed trails can be expensive. That's where we came into play. Our goal was to create a pull behind device that would use pressure generated through a hydraulic cylinder as well as some leaf springs to compact the snow, creating a smooth trail that could later be touched up by a groomer. Our large struggle was ensuring the safety of the machine and its operators in extreme weather conditions. To combat this, we analyzed two force cases. One, an operating case shown here, and the second, an accidental case of running the side of the packer pan into a tree or sign. After the strength of the machine was verified, assembly could start. Parts were cut, grinded, and drilled, either in the NDSU shop or by metal suppliers we worked with. Once the pieces were manufactured, the assembly process could start. With the help of the Snowmobile Club, we were able to begin the assembly at Progressive Auto Refinisher Shop. Some on-the-fly quality of life changes were added such as drainage holes and grease fittings for the rotating parts. And step by step, the frame began to take its shape thanks to the welding done by Corey. The next step was to bend the ultra-high molecular weight plastic in order to get the bolts off the ground to protect from wear. This was done by clamping our bent piece of metal to the sheet and applying pressure. Once pressure was applied, a torch was ran across the plastic, slowly heating it. As the sheet began to bend, further pressure was applied by tightening these clamps. The plastic was then cooled with water to ensure that it would keep its shape, and the clamps were left on the plastic for a while, and the final bent shape can be seen here. An additional objective was to create a stand for the packer pan when it is not in use. The stand was made adjustable with the help of a trailer jack. The final product can be seen operating on the back of the Tucker Snowcat Groomer here. Special thanks for this project goes to Chad Alvin, Greg, Corey, and Alroy from Clay County Trailblazers, Westside Steel, Chase Steel, Mid-America Steel, and Horn Plastics. Thank you.